All right, we are now recording. Cool. So, um, before we get started with this awesome battle, um, my opponent is Guy. I've had a lot of battles against him on my channel. Say hello, Guy. Hello, I'm the guest. All right, cool. This is actually an idea that Guy brought up from uh, the Dexnap channel. If you haven't subscribed to them, definitely go check out their channel. I'll leave a link in the description. You're probably already subscribed to them. Um, but basically, as you can see, all the Pokemon on both of our teams could possibly be Mega Pokemon. Um, so the question is, number one, which one is the Mega Pokemon? And also, how the heck am I going to fight Mega Lucario? That's also a question that I haven't quite figured out yet. Maybe I do have a Mega Lucario. Maybe I don't. I You'll really never hope you know. have a Mega Love Honey. I really do. I'm not telling. You can tell me. That would help. <laughs> I don't have a Mega Venusaur, which is... Uh... Oh yeah, we chose these teams. A uh, guy put everything into a random number generator. So the teams were chosen randomly, which is why I don't have a Mega Venusaur. Otherwise, that would be on this team. That would be too obvious, though. If I had a Venusaur, that would be my Mega. Yeah. So this is probably better. I seriously think that the first random number generator was not actually all that random. It was just a test run. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Uh, you can see my little boost that's on my screen since I'm mousing over them now. They're kind of weird because this isn't an actual like an OU battle so it's like, oh I don't have to worry about that. I gotta run these weird moves. What I think is weird is that my trainer sprite, for me, because I'm on the left, is completely mirrored, including the question mark. <laughs> You're a mystery... Yeah, why are you a mystery trainer? I've never seen that sprite. Because it's a mega mystery! <gasps> oh. Oh, so for mine, I guess it can be a, a gender identity question, since I'm a guy and I'm using the May <laughs> question. That's the only thing I can think of there. That's probably, I could probably think of something better if given more time. I'm sure you could swing it. Um, this is a pretty solid way to start, I gotta stop I guess. my mic. Okay, I have chosen my lead finally. That took several minutes. Dun -dun. I don't Dun -dun. like facing this thing with this team. Everyone's physical except for two pokes. Well, three. <sighs> Yay, that actually works out. Um, so, hi, Sableye. It's good to see you. Mm. He's happy to see you too. Oh, good. I wouldn't know. It's kind of hard to tell the emotions of jewel eyes when you just eat jewels all day. It's hard to see what's going on there. I'm actually kind of surprised. Like, whenever you see his little teeth, that he, you know, still has any. Yeah, they look really pointy. Which does not seem conducive to crushing up rocks and gems. You think you would want more no. flat teeth? No, no. That was a really dumb choice for me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to bird me. <laughs> you know what? Hindsight's twenty twenty. It's certainly something. Now that I have Apparently, a ring target, I can get hit by. Oh, I, everything still can get hits hit me. By... Now. Exactly everything you could already get hit by. Um, and now you have a wonderful choice, Gar Sableye. That's what I wanted. Oh, this just in Sableye is not your mega. Spoilers. That crit definitely mattered. Wow! Wow. So, actually, while I'm thinking about this, I want to have another battle after this where we both know each other's megas because that will change everything <laughs> sure thing oh, I don't have my choice scarf now <laughs> that's just sad ah, ah, ah. there goes one mega lop on each check um I think I've got the animations turned off and I don't know how to turn them on there is a little pin spindle cog in the right hand the corner of the screen the single click animations yeah. I, why would I why would I ever want that off? I don't know. I, I mean, like they are some automatic... snazzy animations. I know, right? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Shenanigans? Apparently. It's always shenanigans with me, don't you know that? I do know that. 
<laughs> uh, for anyone who's listening to this and you have not signed up for the Generation Showdown, you should do so, first of all, because that's going to be pretty fun, I would say. Uh, but secondly, Guy is actually running Mega Audino in the Generation Showdown. So It's so cute, and it's surprisingly effective. Yeah, it's it's kind of strange in that way. Because everyone win-win. kind of pooped on it when it first was announced. And it's great in lower tiers because it's so bulky, but no one would think about it working in uh, higher tiers, I guess. It's built for doubles. I love it. Indeed. Then again, doubles was always kind of nuts to begin with. Doubles is just your playing field, generally, too. I'm trying to <laughs> get more into doubles and even triples to an extent, but... I just was Triples out of... and rotation battles just... They hurt my head. Rotation battles are so my... I wish that was more of a standardized playing. Because, like, especially... Just generally, rotation battles are just much more how I think about things. I, I like having all those different variables, I guess. How? I don't know. It's, just, it's fun because it's like, wow, not only do you have to think about each move that each Pokemon can use while they're on the field, will they rotate left or right? And will either of those Pokemon use those moves? Yeah, because why not? Indecision. Um, um, we are at an impasse here, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to like this pencil. But... No, I'm not. I don't like Mega Pincer with buff defenses when it can already take hits relatively well. Maybe it isn't my Mega. I hope it's not Scarfed. Well, I have a Reflect Up, so that gives me some sort of, uh, I don't know. It gives me something. I don't know what it gives me. But something, that's the important thing. It gives you, like, half a screen. Yeah. It's sort of like a glass screen, sort of. You better not have Brick Break. That would be weird. I was actually thinking about it. I kind of regret not going for it. I don't know. I can't switch anything in here, really. This sucks. (laughs) (laughs) But But I don't want to switch out. I like how both of our uh, stabs are so effective against each other. Oh yeah, just aces. Although they never had this matchup in the show really outside of, there was like an episode where uh, there were some trees. Thank you for getting rid of that uh, ring target by the way. But there was an episode where some pincer oh, wow. were stealing the sap out of trees that the Heracross wanted to live on. That's where Ash caught his Heracross. Uh, but that's the only time you ever see pincer versus Heracross. You think you would have seen that much more often. I know, that. right? They're the Japanese Beetle Brothers. I think that's the trope name. Beetle Boards. Don't quote me on any of this. Jeez. Uh... Also, I haven't missed a single Megahorn. What's up with that? Don't ask me. I do not know. It's, it's someone decided to be nice, quote unquote. Also, you're welcome. Thank you for giving me that back. <laughs> I really wish you could uh, trick without an item more. Because I feel like anytime I use trick, I have an item that I'm giving away. But I've never brought a Pokemon that didn't have an item. Solely to take items. That would be silly. I guess just use Thief. But I, I guess. It's, it's, it's pickpocket without sort of wasting the ability slot. And no one really thinks about it. Until right now when I was like, Ugh, I hope this works. Oh no, it's my Mega Lucario. Or I don't see it? Justified. That's that's good, to an extent. I really want to breed the Ampharos that I came up with for this. I can help with that. There is a dog. There is a little yappy dog that lives in my apartment complex. And it's... It's that very small annoying size that's in a lot of movies and when you actually confront it like when you're face to face with a dog it's terrified but if it's behind a door or if it's if there's a barrier there and it can feel like it can assert its prowess through being loud and annoying it will not hesitate to do so oh yeah undoubtedly it's just like um well i was going to say short people but considering i stand at a thing five three it's a little bit of self-deprecation to me. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just slight, ever so slightly. Curse you, Ampharos! Ampharos, quick, get out of there. 
An Ampharos that's faster than a Lucario because of Thunder Wave. I like this. I can get behind this. Um, but what to do? Are you going to use Aura Sphere again? You could just tell me. Maybe. Dang it. A little bit. Just a little bit of Aura Sphere. I really like the just, new just animation of Aura Sphere. Come on! <laughs> Are you enjoying all the hacks I'm giving you? Because I'm giving you a lot of that this battle. I swear it's because I have the downloaded version. <laughs> There's just a small seed somewhere where one zero is a one. And it's, oh yeah. It's slightly it's like, different. I'm on your computer now. I can see what you have downloaded illegally. I know that you downloaded Gundam X. <laughs> Even though it's completely unavailable in the States. Totally, and that's the only reason why you did that. Um. Wait, no, bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I I like this lop, honey. Oh, I have my choice guard back. Yeah, you do. I forgot about that. It's hard so to provide let's... witty commentary while playing Pokemon. Oh, you know I'm sure what? it comes it's... naturally to you. <laughs> Wit is something that is, is learned and bought with sugar. <laughs> Delicious sugar. There Delicious is a, sugar. a documentary coming out. It's kind of like um, Super Size Me, but it's this guy who tries to cut all the sugar out of his diet. Or, or, or rather, he eats a whole bunch of sugar, and then he tries to cut it all out just to see the effects that fructose corn syrup has on his high fructose corn syrup has on his body. I can vouch that high fructose corn syrup is very bad for you. Finally! Something I know, goes my way. I can't even say, oh darn, I missed that. It's like, that's well overdue. Jeez. Man, it's like I did all that. Or crash. not. Really, I game? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> um... If I weren't in danger of getting pistol whipped for saying shenanigans, I would call some shenanigans. Alright, so fun fact. Mm -hmm. This monster is actually assault vested. It's a weird sort of bulky set. Really? I actually, I really dig it. So what are your four moves then? Close combat, X, Scissor, Earthquake. Oh, knock off. Hi. <laughs> I feel like I already knew that and I just forgot. And... Oh, I would have liked to keep my light clay, though. Well, I'd give it back to you, but... You already killed my Sableye, so... Oh, That was my own short-sightedness, really. Damn you, hindsight! Well... Oh, I didn't expect that to work. I didn't either. I'm happy I put it Reflect instead of Paralyzing you, though. Because <laughs> I was about to just click Thunder Wave. And it's like... And then you could just eat a, eat a whole entire Focus Punch. I did guess wrong on the Close Combat, though. This Low Pony is also a really, really weird bulky set. Yeah, I noticed. It's got Substitute, Cosmic Power, which you've seen. Uh, baton pass, offices of seen, and quick attack. So that's a thing. I forgot Love Bunny got a quick attack. How I ever see it with his fake on now. I, I quick what? attack could be some use in doubles. Actually, I don't know how hard it would hit. And the reveal of Mega Aerodactyl. And the reveal of Love Bunny's bulk. That's a tough claws boosted aerial ace. One would think. Alright, there's no way I'm living this next hit. If Bye, Bob, Bob. were here, he would have told you you gotta believe. Oh man. My PS1 is actually at my feet right now. I'm not sure why. Because you should be All playing right. Parappa the Rapper, apparently. Probably. Yeah, protect. I need to know. 
I might have protect. I do have protect. Well, it seems you have protect. Although they 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 say not to assume because it does things to you and me. But you know, I've yeah. never experienced that. Ooh, Spoilers, oh. it was Sharpedo. Someone running Aqua Jet on their Mega Sharpedo, finally. <sighs> I think it would be more common you than would it think. is. No one does it. I, have... I like how you pretty much swept my team. Well, with complete hacks, did... yes. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you oh. attacked my Ephros that time. Uh. No words. Yeah, I no, not no really. I'm right happy now. we got all that hacks on film. It's like this happens to people. Jeez. Is there like a reverse lottery? Where they just take your money if they draw your number? I was thinking like if they get anything like as far away from your number as possible. <laughs> I really hope so. Because that means there's some people paying to enter into that somewhere. I know I've gotten like the... The weird little um... Oh shit. Ow. Oh, oh! Wait, wait for the paralysis. <laughs> Don't wait for it. Folks. I want you to get fully paralyzed and for me to miss. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Oh. oh. My poor heart. I go back and forth on whether or not I like Mega Sharpedo's design. It's very bright. Don't like the official artwork. I kind of like it in 3D. That's about it. I didn't see Mega Sharpedo or Mega Camera up until the game came out and I just spent so much time looking at them both going what the heck <laughs> especially camera up I, I thought they turned it into a slug I couldn't turn I couldn't tell that I saw that feet. <laughs> so I was really confused about oh saw that comic Ta-da! all right rematch without the hacks this time oh wait what why are they taking me back to the screen I... Why? Why would it do that? Because it's how it's coded, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's me. Alright, take two. You already know that I've got a Mega Sharpedo. And now you know Mega Aerodactyl is here. Although knowing that Heracross Heracroft is scarfed is, is... That is nice. Yeah. I also know to... Freaking leave Gallade just like, away. He's useless. <laughs> Yay, crit Megahorn. This time, let's lead this. Because why not take the offensive? Why not strike a deal with destiny and bring a brazen sword into battle or something? I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Why not get hit in the face with an ice punch? Is that a thing that happens? I actually was like... Do I knock off or do I ice punch? Knock off, ice punch. I have arms. Let's go for an ice punch. I hope you went for ice punch because that's what I'm assuming you did. I would prefer to keep my items at least. Yay, I like that. Oh, you don't want to get static I again. I didn't get paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> that's the type of thing when, I, when I'm in a, an actual tournament battle. I weigh those types of odds. It's like, okay, if he switches this in, and might have that ability, I'm using a contact move, I might get the effect. So instead, I'm going to do this just so I have a better win condition later. But if I'm just battling casually, it's like, yeah, whatever. Don't and this is... Don't and people say that the internet generation has no foresight. There it is. Nailed it. Only took two times. And now my choice scarf is completely useless. Gotta love it. I do hope that the hacks reverses this time, if only because that would be really entertaining. Like, two out of three.
like I just need complete and utter, I just need three Draco misses in a row, which I haven't done in, in a long time. <laughs> Although my favorite hack story was, uh, I think I left that on a Pimp Knight video, one of his battles. But he had really bad hacks in the video, and I got to tell on that story. I bred my opponent's team for him in a tournament that we were entering together, and in that team was a Blastoise. And that Blastoise toxicked and got Protect six times in a row against my Electivire, and I only needed to hit him one time. Six times? Yeah, he toxic stalled my Electivire to death. He nailed Protect six, six times, times in a row. In a row. Yep, and that was my last Pokemon, and all I needed to do was to hit him. It's just like, well, alrighty then. Is there a word I can use to describe that much hacks? I think just, it's just hilarity, hilarity rather. Just like, did you have Masuda over on the phone? <laughs> that little red phone. I'm just, I'm just like. I need to toxic stall this Electivire. Boom. I need you to crunch some numbers for me. What's the chances of me winning this? I think uh, Aaron Cybertron Zhang had a battle up on his channel where his opponent's only win condition was to get three or four flinches in a row. And he had a and Garchomp and a Tyranitar just out using Rock Slide over and over and over and he flinched his whole team to death. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, oh. really? <laughs> Like the chances of that were so low, but that was his win condition. That was his win condition, and you know what? He reached for the stars, and wow! I shouldn't have been looking away when that was going on. It's never wise to look away during an earthquake. You should be jumping or hanging out in doorways with your cats, because cats are good people to, or animals to, to follow during earthquakes. You know what? I think cats are just generally good animals to follow. I mean, napping like 23 hours a day. I'm down. 23 Let's go for that. hours a day? It's something crazy That's like that. It's called a coma. <laughs> so things I need oh, to try and OU is dual screens and Mega Aerodactyl, apparently. Some things I need to try, not letting you get dual screens up. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you I actually I knew nailed you, it. I just wanted to bring a smile to your face. Ah It warms the dark cockles of my heart. Which is a word that sounds very different than what it is, than what it is, and what it looks like spelled. <laughs> is this one of those masticating situations? Was that a crit mega horn through a burn that one hit knocked out my pincer? Yes, although to be fair, I have guts. But yeah, the crit definitely mattered. Uh... I, don't, I don't even think with guts, I would have taken you out with the mega horn. This is a bulky Let's go for this. That bulky cross. Oh, protect failed. Even though it's the first turn. <laughs> <laughs> protect failed you. I'm actually interested as to um, what moves you have on your Mega Sharpedo since you have Aqua Jet. Well, no Crunch is in there, but if you have, like, if you have Ice Fang, okay, we're we're in for a fun time. Fun fact, I, of course. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know what I expected. Wait, so you have Ice Fang, Crunch, Aqua Jet, Protect? Yep. Oh, okay. I don't run Protect on mine. That's why I thought you still had Waterfall for some reason. Oh, here's the thing about Waterfall. It would have made sense, and I wasn't thinking.
did did Low Pony just get the KO from that burn? Yes. Okay. You know what? I don't think I don't think your meta gem has been in and made an attack thus far. It has not. Let me guess, you're going to fake out because you know I've got the ring target. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, however could I have guessed that? You can always trick it to me as I high jump kick and hit nothing. But I'm gonna Click, you saw it, hit him now. I'm gonna assume you're aw. <laughs> <laughs> I was really looking forward to high jump kicking the sable, I just to say I, I I had done it. Okay. Let's do this even though it makes little to no sense. What is it? Is it Metal Burst? No, it's oh. Choice Banded Foul Play. I didn't know that worked. Darn you and your huge power, my champ. <laughs> if only you had slightly smaller huge power. If only your muscles bulged less, just slightly less. If only I had thought to put any sort of special defense on my Sableye. <laughs> but to be fair, that was a fun that? one. Shh. Special defense on your Sableye. Especially when the one thing that you're weak to has only special attack moves and play rough. See, it makes sense when you say it out like that. All, All right, right. So well, I guys, I'm going to stop this re recording. But if you would like to challenge Guy, I will leave his Twitter link in the description. Um, so if you want to see me lose, my Twitter link should be in the description. Not, not, not necessarily lose. Although you guys may actually remember from way back, Guy was the person that I battled for the Final Fantasy Triple Team battle. That was one of my favorite moments on my channel just having oh, someone that that was just so much fun to do that but to the <laughs> void i still feel that oh <laughs> that was just so awesome thank you for letting me do that that was just <laughs> thank you for having me if my heart had cockles they would be toasty i guess is what i'm trying to say but if you guys enjoyed this type of battle let me know in the comments or just with the thumbs up and a like i can put more of these up i'm sure guy would really like to have some more rematches where it's not quite so haxy, but this was actually kind of fun. So I was surprised. I thought it would be more standard battle, but it was like, okay, I had to think about this a lot more than I planned on. So, guys, I good. probably should have thought more about this than I did. Hmm. Probably. Well, we'll know for next time. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. You do that way too well. That's a job that I wish I had. <laughs> Alright, bye everyone. Later, guys.